say lord jesus pour it out my god that song gets me going every time i hear that song it is phenomenal what god is doing in the earth 
I'm Prophet Zion Matthew, and we're so blessed to be with you today. We're just waiting for that live feed to come on. Um, bless you, every one of you that are joining us from all over the world. We just hit 100 um, viewers right now. So go ahead and share this Facebook live broadcast. Share it, share it, share it. There is a word from the Lord for you tonight. We are so blessed to have with us a mighty prophet of God that is shaking the United States. He pastors the Ram Church in Chattanooga in Tennessee. He is an emerging voice, a voice to the nation. Tonight is going to be powerful like every other night has been. And we got to be expectant. Somebody hashtag, I'm expectant tonight. Somebody say, I'm expectant tonight. Go ahead, share this broadcast tonight. It's going to be phenomenal. But before we bring the man of God on tonight, I've got some exciting news for everybody some exciting news we are launching next week something on facebook it's a private closed facebook forum called let the prophet speak emerging voices let the prophet speak emerging voices this is a call to the emerging prophetic apostolic voices from all over the nations of the earth that desires to be mentored desires to be fathered and desires to uh, get an apostolic covering from our ministry this is open to those people that has been saying lord we don't know where to connect father we don't have a point of connection uh, we want to provide that apostolic covering for you uh prophet as shireen and i have launched this um it's called the let the prophet speak emerging voices so if you want to be part of this emerging voices uh, uh forum on facebook if you've been seeking apostolic covering you could not find um a, a church in your city that or, or you could not find people in your city that you can connect with uh, we are making this available for you to join this global community of emerging sons of god sons and daughters of god that god is going to use um, to shake the nations of the earth let me just greet a few people we have have Nova Simpson from Jamaica's in the house. We've got Cape Town in the house. Uh, oh my God, we've got people from all over the nations of the earth. Go ahead and share this broadcast. We are expecting for the wind of the Holy Ghost to blow in the earth again. The spirit of expectancy releases God's glory. And tonight, I believe that something incredible is going to be released from the heart of God. So if you want to connect with us on the Emerging Voices, Let the Prophet Speak uh, forum, you've been saying, God, I've been seeking uh, apostolic covering, people that speaks my language, people that, that understands the, the heart of God. I'm seeking my Mary. I'm seeking an Elijah in my life. You've been seeking God. God and been crying out, this is for you. I want you to send an email to emerge3, so it's E-M-E-R-G-3-V at gmail.com or contact Mishenta. Our cell number is on the screen right there. But if you want to be part of this global community, we want you to make contact with us in the next three days. Uh, and we're going to send you an email for you to fill out so you can be part of this global community of emerging voices. Tonight, we are so blessed. We've got UK in the house. We've got Namibia in the house. Uh, we've got Singapore in the house. People from all over the world, we are expecting. we got Johannesburg in Jesus' name. I love you guys. So tonight, without further ado, we're going to bring on the man of God. Uh, I've just recently got to know him. We've been following each other on Facebook. But when God releases divine connections, when God releases divine connections, everything begins to shift in your life. When I say, Lagos, when God wants to bless you, he sends someone into your life. When God wants to protect you, someone always exits your life. And tonight, I believe that God, like I spoke last night, God is raising up the, the apostolic prophetic company of Jehu's in the earth, the fearless one that will go and overthrow every system that Jezebel has created and where previous generations refused to deal with and confront the spirit of Jezebel and all of these demonic systems that was at work in the earth. God is raising up the Jehu company that's going to shake those demonic altars of Baal and break it down to the ground until it exists no more. We will not tolerate in our generation what our forefathers tolerated in 
their generation. There is an anointing to deal with the principalities. There is an anointing to deal with powers. So tonight, as we bring on the man of God, I believe it's going to be powerful. Without further ado, I'm going to bring on the man of God tonight, Prophet Andrew Powell, mighty God. Blessed to have you tonight, sir. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I was just being blessed by what you were saying because that's right along with what the Holy Spirit is speaking to me, that mm. there is a generation that is arising. You know, I'm determined. Uh, I know God has great things for, for my daughter's generation, my children's generation, but I'm determined that we are not going to be bypassed of what God is doing today. In fact, when I was sitting here waiting uh, to go live with you, uh, the Holy Spirit spoke to me a word, and I just looked it up quickly, and uh, he spoke to me a word on disruption. He said, what we've been facing as a global society has been a disruption of what he is going, to, what God is doing. The enemy has come to disrupt that. The word disruption, it means to cause disorder or tur turmoil. To break apart. See, that's what's happening is the enemy has tried to break us apart. He's tried to isolate us. He's tried to keep us uh, uh, from each other because he knows that one can put a thousand to flight. Two can put 10,000 to flight. That's why I'm so glad I'm on this broadcast with you today because I believe that some strongholds are going to be confronted and be brought down. Some yokes are going to be destroyed and the captive are going to be set free Come on. in Jesus' name. He said the disruption that the enemy has has come in to disrupt or cause turmoil or to destroy. He says that's temporary because what he is going to do, see disruption, and I just jotted it down. That means I just wrote it down right before mm -hmm. I went on. Disruption versus eruption. This wow. morning as I was praying, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, get ready for an eruption, a sudden eruption mm -hmm. of the Spirit of God. He's saying, uh, he reminded me of a vision that I had several uh, about a year ago, of a volcano that set dormant for so long. See, volcanoes, they can set dormant and no activity happening in them. But then all of a sudden, something starts bubbling up. Something starts mm. brewing. And all of a sudden, there's an explosion. See, I am believing all over the globe tonight, I'm believing all over the world that there is going to be a sudden eruption of God's glory. See, the enemy is a counterfeit. And what he is doing on the earth is trying to counterfeit what God is bringing to pass. But he can, God cannot be stopped. The enemy mm. can cause disruption, but it's only temporary because yes. the eruption of God's promises are coming forth. There is coming an outpour of God's spirit like we have never known before. There is coming waves of glory. The lost are coming in. Bondages are being destroyed. Those mm. that are uh, prodigals are coming in. I just see nations. The word says that nations are as a drop of a bucket to the Lord. Mm. So I hear the Lord saying today that the many of you, hear me, this is to you, not only to nations, but to you as individuals. Many of you have felt disruption from the enemy. He has come and he calls chaos in your life. He's caused chaos in your marriage. He's called chaos in your, your ministries. Pastors, hear me. I know that the, the quarantine and all that we've been going through as a global society has caused a disruption, but he cannot stop the eruption that is going to take place. There is coming a sudden eruption and you're going to see the sudden promises of God come forth. I feel the Holy Spirit. I feel the wind of the Spirit coming on this. I believe that today that some, uh, some strategic spirits, some regional spirits are being brought down because mm. God is birthing a wave of glory. God is birthing a movement that can Cannot be stopped, though it be hindered, though 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 it tarry, it will not be stopped. There is coming a suddenly. I release mm. right now. 
I, I feel the fire of the Holy yes. Ghost. And when I start feeling the fire of the Holy Ghost, I get a little excited. So if I start going too quickly or I, I start moving too quickly, just let me know and I'll try to settle down. But I hear the Holy Spirit saying that a suddenly is going to be released. I, I declare that over Africa right now, a sudden eruption of God's glory. God says, I have been stirring the winds of revival. I have been stirring the winds of an outpour all over the world, not just in Africa, not just in America, but I'm telling you all over the world, the nations of the world are going to see a mighty outpouring of God's spirit. Mm. And we are going to see waves, waves of glory, waves of, of eruption of the promises of God. There are many that have been on delay. You, it seems like your promises have been on pause. It seems like there's been disruption or chaos. Your connection has been, uh, uh, you know, when, when you're online and a connection. The other day I was doing alive and my connection kept being interrupted and it kept stalling and it kept uh, 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 losing connection, losing the news feed. See, that's what's been happening in the spirit. The enemy is the prince of the air and he's been causing disruption in the spirit. But let me tell you, I hear the breath of God that is about to blow in your life. I'm prophesying to somebody right now. I hear the ruach of God. The wind of God is blowing freshly on your ministry stream, on your assignment, on your life, and there's going to be a sudden, who am I prophesying to right now? I feel the fire of God on this. There is going to be a sudden eruption of the promises, the words that have been laid dormant. You said, I've been waiting on the promises of God. I have a promise from him. I have a word from him. I've been standing on that word, but I'm not seeing any movement on it. Get ready, because there is coming a suddenly that is released. I believe today right now there is coming a sudden eruption there is a, a volcanic activity in the spirit realm and the spirit of God is birthing promises though it is laid dormant even for, for years and years and years God is saying there is coming a suddenly I hear the Lord saying that you are picking up a mantle oh I feel this in the spirit he said I, you are picking up a mantle of another generation that has thrown it down but did not oh. carry it. But I'm mm -hmm. here to tell you today, oh, hear me right now on this broadcast. God's saying today that uh, there is a prophetic generation that is picking up the mantles that have been cast down. And there is a new generation of prophetic voices that are arising on the scene. Some mm -hmm. have never heard their name, but Come they on. are picking up the mantle. They are receiving the baton and they are starting to run. He's saying, Come I on. am going to gain momentum in this hour. There's going Woo. to be great gains in this hour. There Gosh. will be no more loss. God, Come I'm on. turning your losses into great momentum. All yeah, it good. takes is one moment. Oh, one moment, one though. moment to create momentum. Come on. Come moment on. is the re root word for momentum. I love words. I'm a writer. I love words. So I study out words. He's saying, I am releasing momentum. Right hmm. now in your homes, you need to lift up your hands and begin to receive because I hear the Holy Spirit saying that he is filling hmm. you with new fire. He is yeah. filling you with new momentum. He is moving you in directions that you never saw yourself go in. See, this was the last thing I ever saw myself doing. When I first uh, started my broadcast, I have a broadcast called Friday Fire. And when I first started, I wrestled with the Holy Spirit because I did not want to do it. I felt uncomfortable uh, uh, signing online and, and starting uh, a Facebook Live. In fact, the first few times I did it, there was only one or two people that signed online with me. It was very discouraging. And, and so I said, God, you know, maybe I'm just not called to do that. He said, I put a mantle upon you to begin to release the prophetic word of the Lord. He said, I called you to nations. And he said, before you can go to nations, I've given you a platform on your little iPhone here that you can push Facebook live and you can begin to broadcast to nations. He said, don't look at the numbers. Don't look at the people on there who's commenting, who's not. He said, just be obedient to me. And very quickly, I've been doing it for a year now, very quickly, the Lord has advanced or caused momentum to come on the broadcast. 
And I want to tell you just as quickly, God can release momentum in your life. Some of you need momentum in your finances. As I, I know I'm speaking really fast because he's downloading it very fast to me. But I hear the Lord saying that, that, that he's going to cause many to begin to break out of the box that the enemy has put you in financially. The enemy has tried to restrict many of you financially. You say, I have a heart for giving. I want to be a giver. I want to support, support the work of the Lord. But yet the enemy has boxed you in. I know what that's like, but I hear him saying that the wind of God is going to blow over every blockade. Come on. The breaker is coming in on the scene. He's going to break down every blockade. He's going to break down every barrier, every wall that has kept you out. God is saying that wall is going to fall just like it did for Joshua. The walls, the word said the walls that kept them out when it began to fall became his stepping stone because the word says that they went up, up. They went up on what tried to keep them out. Hear me right now on this broadcast. This is the word of the Lord to you. The very walls that have tried to keep you out, the very walls that have come to be a disruption of the enemy, to keep you from your promised land. God's saying, now I'm turning that thing right now, right now by the spirit of God. Who's hearing me? Who's receiving this word? Come on, just begin to hashtag turn around because I hear the spirit of the Lord saying right now, he is turning that thing and that wall is going to become your stepping stone. The very thing that the enemy tried to block you, tried to stop you, tried to restrict you is now going to be your platform to going forth to the nation. Nations. Hear me, Africa. Hear me, United States of America. Hear me, United Kingdom. Come on. Hear me, India. Hear me, nations of the world. God is saying, I'm blowing a fresh wind into my prophetic generation, and they will rise up with a word in their mouth. No more hype. No more just uh, cliche words. But God is saying, I will put a word of fire in their mouth. It will be a consuming word. I hear him saying, right Right now, that the very things that have been sent of the enemy to disrupt, I am going to cause to, 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 to use it to cause an eruption. There's going to be an eruption of my promises. There's going to be an eruption of my words. And they are going to come forth suddenly, suddenly, instantaneously, even right now. Mm. I hope this is okay, prophet, but I just hear the Lord saying right now that he is releasing promises that have been held back. He is releasing promises that have kept you out or now that the very hindrances that have kept you out are now taking you in. Yes, Jehus are arising that are going to throw down. They're not going to be influenced by Jezebel. We're not impressed with how made up you are. Come on, somebody, uh, uh, Jezebel is a seducing spirit. And, and sometimes if we're not careful, we can be seduced even in the prophetic by, by someone's makeup or someone's greatness, uh, uh, not their physical makeup, but by their, their greatness or the way they look maybe on Facebook or Instagram and we're seduced into that realm. But I'm telling you, there are some sold out, hmm, some sold out, dedicated prophets of the Lord that have their ear tuned to the heart of God, that have their ear tuned to the voice of God, and they are in an intimate relationship. See, I'm tired of hearing people prophesy hmm. out of regurgitating. Come on. Key words. Come on, no, sir. No, no, no. There are some prophets that have been in the throne room with God. Yes, there are some prophets that have been in the prayer room with God. And he yes. is releasing their heart, his heart to them. And they will come, come and God says they will be the fiery mm. ones. They will be the ones that will speak with a dynamic fire. And mm. it will pierce the hearts of people. Yes, it will know. shape nations. And walls will begin to fall as they begin to prophesy. And I just declare that word right now. Come on, prophet. I want to get you in here and I want you to just you begin to flow right now. I don't want to take over your broadcast, but <laughs> I, I just had to release that word. Come, right on, then. come on, come on, come on. I believe it's time. And someone just wrote that, uh, that the Jehu anointing is not seduced 
by the spirit of Jezebel. Because when Jezebel started, you got to understand for Jehu represented a compounded anointing in the earth. And you spoke about mantles that many other people did not pick up or failed to pick up in their generation. I believe right now that there are mantles that this emerging generation is picking up, addressing things that previous generations ran away from, addressing things, injustices of the past. But I believe that God is raising up a company that is fearless, that has not bowed their knees to the systems of Jezebel because Jezebel is not a person. It is a demonic structure. It's a demonic altar that has been established in the earth. And even though the woman Jezebel has been overthrown, that spirit, that system, that order, that altar is still being established in the earth through generations because the Bible says that after even Jezebel died, she had a daughter by the name of Athaliah. And Athaliah did worse things in killing the next generation. The Bible says that Athaliah even tried to kill her own grandchild so that she could retain power. And this is what we are seeing in the earth. We are seeing people uh, from previous generations that refuses to pass the mantle, that refuses to pass the baton in the realm of the spirit. And they are carrying an Athaliah spirit that is causing this next generation to be aborted, to, to be the fire to be snuffed out. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare tonight uh, that the Elishas, the Elijahs are coming uh, to release the mantles and batons on this generation that will cause an acceleration of the overthrowing of every demonic structure that has been erected to every false god and we are the troublers of israel let me tell you something af asked uh, elijah are you the one that troubles israel and i want to tell you right now and we speak to principalities and powers and rulers of wickedness in high places we are the ones this generation and we are not one we are a corporate son we we are a Come corporate on. gathering of God's manifested sons in the earth. Black, white, Indian, color, Chinese, Indian, Japanese, American, uh, people from Malaysia, Australian. This is a corporate voice. Because let me tell you, where one man went after the spirit of Jezebel, Jezebel had the power to take that man out. But not in this generation, because this is a corporate man company. This is a one man phenomenon. You see, the one man phenomenon is the spirit of unity that Jesus cried out for in John chapter 7 where he prayed father make them one as you and I are one because the enemy does not understand cannot comprehend cannot it does not have the weaponry to deal with this one man phenomenon Though we are many, though we were born in different generations, though we were born from different backgrounds, uh, different family lineages, uh, but we are one man with one voice. And that is the voice of the Lord being released in the earth again. The corporate man is about to stand up in power. And I prophesy to Africa, no longer will we be segregated. I prophesy to America, no longer will you be divided by race or by, by denominational walls and boundaries uh, or by ethnic origin. We are standing up in the spirit to speak one voice and one frequency. It is this spiritual technology. Unity is not just something where I love you and you love me. No, this unity is a spiritual technology that supernaturally dismantles in the realm of the spirit, rulers of darkness, principalities and powers. The spirit of unity begins to shift things over regions. That's why when Jesus went to the man at Gadara. He went to the island of Gadara. He, the, when he asked who are you? He said, I am legion for we are many. The devil understands the power of unity. And Jesus is releasing that power of unity to begin to usher in another generation that will pick up all of the anointings, all of the mantles, all of the things that previous generations let go of because they were afraid, they were intimidated, they wanted to fit in. Jehu company does not care if they fit in because when God sent Elisha to anoint Jehu, Elijah called him out from amongst his brethren. 
Don't ever think you can sit amongst the, uh, the, the masses and be identified and anointed with fresh oil for this new day. God is calling us out from amongst our brethren. He says, that's what ecclesia means, the called out ones. That's what the true church means, the called out ones. And I believe this, this recalibration, this resetting that you're talking about, this eruption that you are talking about, man of God, is being released through, uh, through this Jehu company. But this Jehu company is coming in with the spirit of unity. We will have no divisions amongst us. We will Come not on. have competition amongst us. Because what, listen, what you and I can do together is greater than what you can do on your own or what I can do on my own. On. This is why God is locking people together so that his end time purposes in the earth will be revealed because this is not the day of celebrity ministries. This is not the day of the one man show. The day of the one man show is an old wine paradigm. Let me say it again. The day of the one man celebrity ministry is an old wine paradigm. God is releasing prophetic apostolic teams all over the nations of the earth that will begin to sound one sound, will begin to come with one thrust, will begin to release one sovereign voice. And this is how this eruption that you are speaking about, man of God, this supernatural volcanic explosion that is going to completely dismantle the gates of hell that is going to completely break down every demonic technology that the devil has been employing because throughout all the generations the enemy knew that if he could turn me against you and he could turn you against me and he could turn uh, put a negative thought in somebody's mind about another preacher that the spirit of unity will be broken but the devil is a liar there is a new breed that is coming in the earth uh, that is standing up uh, with John chapter number 17 uh, or that cry of Jesus where he said, Father, make them one. Prophesy, man of God. Declare the word of the Lord. Today. Yes, there is a, a total reset of what's taking place. You know, I heard on the news the other day and they said uh, that, that this is the new norm, that people won't want to gather in large groups anymore because of this uh, a virus that's going around. But, you know, I heard the Holy Spirit say that that is contrary to his will because he showed me in a vision uh, a year ago or several years ago, uh, a vision where he took me into stadiums and I saw stadiums filled with people. I don't have time to go in it today, but I, I know that what I saw was teams of ministries going right along with what you were saying. It wasn't just one minister that was ministering on the platform. In fact, I've written a book about it. It's going to be out soon called The Triple Threat Anointing. And, and uh, uh, it wasn't <clears throat> just one person on the stage, there were teams of ministry all using their giftings, their talents, their anointings, coming together as one voice. And, and, and in this time of new normal, there is a new normal that's going to take place because there is a reset in the spirit that is taking place. That word reset means to set again, to set, adjust, or fix in a new or different way. It's an act or instance of setting again. God is resetting his church to begin to operate in a new and greater level of, of, mm. of functioning. We are going mm. to function at a different level, at a different rate. And there's not going to be uh, uh, just one or, or two or three or four. There's going to be many that are raised up in this hour that have their ear tuned to the voice of God. Mm. And the other day, uh, last Friday... I was doing a broadcast on the reset and I heard the Holy Spirit. He woke me up at about 3 a.m. in the morning to pray. And he said, I want you to scramble or unscramble the word reset and see the words that are made up of this reset. So I did just that. And uh, the first word I came to was rest. In this reset, there is going to be rest. The word rest means to relieve weariness by uh, uh, to relieve weariness by uh, uh, by late hard labor. And I heard the Holy Spirit say that many have been in a season of weariness. The Bible says, don't grow weary in well-doing, for in due season you will reap. So right before the reaping comes the attack or the temptation to faint 
or to be weary in spirit. So right now, I break off weariness. Some of you don't understand what you've been going through, but you have been going through a season of being reset. God is taking what Satan has meant for evil, and he is turning it for your good. And in this season of reset, you are going to experience the rest of the Holy Spirit. There's going to be an adjustment, a resetting, a refueling, a refiring of yourself, of your spirit man, to get ready to move into what God has promised you. The second word I came to, which was very uh, prophetic, was the word seer. You, you, you can form the word seer from the word reset. So seer is a person or who prophesies future events or a prophet. In this reset, hear me, this hour that we are in, God is raising up the seers. He is raising up the prophetic voices. He is raising up those that will prophesy of future events, those that will declare a thing and it shall be. I call forth every seer in this reset right now in the name of Jesus. I call forth a new anointing to be stirred up in you. He says this reset is going to birth the seers. The seers will begin to arise. Rise, and they will begin to prophesy with a dynamic fire, fire. He said, not only that, but, but, but out of the seer, out of the reset is the steer. The word steer means to guide or direct on course. He says, I am directing my church. I am putting them on a new course. He said, I am the one that is steering the bus of this operation. I am the one that is steering you. I am steering you from one way into a new uh, a new paradigm. I am setting you from one way into a new wineskin. The yesterday is over, but there is a new day. There is a new hour. There is a new outpouring of what God is doing Come now. On. He's saying those that try to keep doing the old pattern, the wind of the spirit is not on it. But he said, yes. I will blow on the seers and I will begin to steer in this reset. What God is doing is, is putting a reset so that the promises of God can come forth suddenly. In this hour, many, many, many are going to arise on the scene with the, with the word of the Lord. Not just one or two, but many have been seeking the face of God. I saw mm. a news uh, uh, cast the other day that in Walmart in, in the U.S., that in Walmart during this, this terrible virus that we've been facing, I refuse to give it uh, that name because it means crowned one, and I would refuse to crown Come a on. virus because Jesus is greater. But during this uh, pandemic that we've been facing, that the Bibles are beginning to, to sell out on store shelves all over our nation and probably around the world. Why? Because people are looking for hope and they are looking for the answer. That's why God is raising up broadcasts like this one with the prophetic word of the Lord because people need hope and that God has not forsaken them but this is a reset that God is going to use to raise up the seers and they're going to steer us on a new pathway of Come life on. and a new pathway and a new wineskin. He said this reset is setting again. He said, I'm setting things in order in my mm. body because we have grown accustomed to superstar Christianity. Yes. We, we've grown accustomed to superstar ministry. And that's not the way it was in the book of Acts. Yes, he raised up uh, leaders in the book of Acts, but it says the church at large began uh, they had the prophets, the apostles, the fivefold ministry for the work of the ministry. That That's means right. even lay people are called to the work of the ministry. Come if on. you are a part of the body of Christ, you have been drafted into the army of God and you are called to pull down strongholds. You are called to heal the sick. You are Come called on. to raise the dead. You are called to release a word in due season. If you believe in Jesus and he's the Lord of your life, you yes. are called for such a time as this. But we have gotten over into where we begin to glorify giftings or we That's begin right. to glorify uh, uh, different men or women. And I'm not talking about not showing honor. Mm. We need mm. to have a culture of honor. But uh, I don't move away from that. Absolutely. The Bible tells us to. But we don't need to get so starry eyed. 
that Come we have eyes off of Jesus. Preach it, sir. The one who brought the reset when he died on the cross, he That's reset right. all of humanity. And right now, what we are facing is a shaking, but get mm. ready for another shaking to take place. Right. And that's the sons and the daughters of God Come are on. rising into the purpose and into gotcha. the plan that God has called us to do. And that shaking is going to usher in a mm. mighty wave of revival, a mighty awakening taking place where everyone in the body rises up to begin to take their place in the army of God. Hallelujah. Wow, that's, you know, this is the cry of the spirit right now is for the manifestation of the sons of God. And the Bible says the wheat and the tares grow up together. The Bible also says that the day of the Lord is both great and terrible. It's Come great on. for the sons of God. It's terrible for the forces of darkness because they mm. have no clue what's coming because God has cooked up a storm. This, what we are facing right now is God's perfect storm. This is God's mm. perfect storm in the realm of the spirit. The enemy could not even fathom that inside the eye of the storm that, that the enemy has almost created, uh, inside the eye of the storm, God is beginning to birth out uh, people like the world has never seen before. That from the inner chambers of heaven, from the inner rooms of the spirit, from the holies of holies dimension, we are not looking for another, another preacher, another prophet, another Another apostle to come. We are looking in this time uh, for the face of the Lord Jesus to be made manifest in the earth. We are not looking for the voice of a man. We're looking for the voice of the Son of God being made uh, uttered throughout the nations of the earth. What the world needs right now is not just another conference. We don't just need another church. We don't just need another ministry. We need the full manifestation because the Bible says for all of creation is groaning and that's what the reset is all about. It's about creation has been groaning and been moaning in a travail. If people on this Facebook live, if you've been in a place of the inner chamber where God has had you in a travail, where you feel like all of God is pushing something out of you, where you feel that God is birthing something inside of you, I want to tell you now is not the time to stop. Now is a time for you to lock your legs in labor and let the Holy Ghost birth something supernatural yes, in and through you. We are tired of regurgitated Christianity. We are tired of lukewarm Christianity. We have got to see the emergence in this time of a brand new league, not just a brand new breed. Oh my God, a few months ago I had a prophetic word about the rise of the Justice League of God in the earth. The Justice League of God will meet out and execute judgment on the heads of the enemies that where the enemy has, 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 has got away with so many things in previous generation. Oh, here comes the Justice League. Somebody say, here comes Come the Justice League. The Justice League is not just one man. The Justice League is the corporate man. The Justice yeah. League moves with the apostolic hammer of God's justice and righteousness because they have come with verdicts from the courtrooms of heaven and they come to execute execute the judgments of God on the necks of the enemy and whatever we declare and decree. The Bible says in the book of Job, for you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. So here comes the justice league of God. Here they come walking the nations of the earth. Whatever God says, whatever we bind on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth, it shall be loosed in heaven. So here comes this breed of the justice league on the earth. They say sanction things. When they begin to sanction it, it is sanctioned. We begin to release the spiritual embargoes upon our, upon the necks of the enemy. That means what we allow. When a nation releases an embargo against another nation, that means they close off their borders. That means they close off uh, different things in the realm of the spirit for the uh, for uh, they, they close off the entry point. And in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, we close off every yes. entry point uh, that where the enemy tried to come in uh, and try to destroy cities, try to destroy ministries, try to destroy nations. Here comes the Justice League of God uh, with papers that they've obtained, uh, with interdicts to stop the, 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 the pending threat of violence against the sons of God. God is raising our people that will stand. Man of God, you, you said to me earlier, 
when the tornado came, the tornado came to three or four houses away from you on Sunday, but it did not touch you guys. Why? Because over your life, uh, there is a divine restraining order that God oh. released for protection over mm -hmm. your life, over your ministry. And I prophesy tonight, uh, the Justice League of God is coming yes. fresh. We are shifting things in the realm of the spirit tonight. I am sensing there is a divine shifting in the atmosphere right now. As I'm speaking, literally the lights are flickering in my house. I declare the word of the Lord. We're coming fresh out of the courts of heaven with interdicts, divine interdicts, divine restraining orders, divine stop orders. Oh, where the enemy tried to mess with your family, we release those divine stop orders, that supernatural interdict to stop whatever the enemy has opened up that door of, of, of disaster over your life. When the enemy has opened up the door of the devouring spirit, we serve that demonic realm with an interdict from heaven, a divine restraining order from heaven. Here comes the justice league. We are coming to reset things and bringing it back to the original form, to the original place, to the original way that God had declared that it should be man of God prophesied. Sir. Prophesy, prophesy. Yeah, Even as you were saying that, I just, uh, I could hear my, my spirit. I saw actually the uh, angels, warring angels being mm. dispatched on behalf of God's people. And I saw forces of darkness being pushed back. And the Come angels on. saying, no, 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 no. And, and being pushed back. And it was at the release of the words of his saints. At the release of the words, God was dispatching uh, uh, angelic forces yes, and, yes, and yes. some of you right now I, I can't see your names on this broadcast but I hear the Holy Spirit saying some of you have been under attack your family has been under attack uh, mm. the enemy has come in to try to destroy to disrupt to cause destru destruction but even as me uh, and the prophet of the Lord are coming together and we're releasing the word of the Lord you begin to open up your mouth come on those of you watching this broadcast Open up your mouth and you begin mm. to speak to your circumstances and command it to come into alignment with the word and the promises of God. You begin to speak to it and say, no, this is mm. opposite of what God has told me. So right before we went on the broadcast, he reminded me of a word that I released uh, 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 several months ago called contradiction. He gave me that word. The prefix mm. contra means uh, against or opposite. And the word diction means word. See, word. warfare has been against your words that God Come has on. promised. Hear me, man of God. I, I release this word to you as well. He said the warfare that you have faced has been against the word mm. that God has declared over you. But it may look like contradiction right now. But get ready because there is coming a divine reversal. Woo and he said everything is going to make sense. Everything is being readjusted. It is coming into perfect alignment. Who is this? word for today or tonight I'm telling you right now that the warfare that you have been fighting has been against the 2020 word that God promised yeah. you the warfare mm. that we are fighting as a society has come to come against the mm. prophecies that have been declared over 2020 but mm. God says not one word shall return void it will come accomplish on. where into it has been sent God spoke it and he, it is when he said let there be light there was light it come already on. took place in the spirit realm it has already mm. taken place what God has promised you and I hear the spirit of the Lord say get ready for double I know this attack that has been against the world and many of us personally has been against our 2020 vision but come I'm on. telling you God is bringing clarity that is the new reality God is come bringing on. clarity to your vision clarity to your mind clarity mm. to your life because because the reset is taking place Ooh. even now. The contradiction is being reversed, and now he is bringing order to the chaos. Mighty God. Order to your mm, 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 mm. Mighty God, I believe, I, I, I felt that when you said the warfare is against the word, Come for on. me personally, God gave me a word in 2014 about what he's going to do in 2020. And many Come of you on. are sitting here watching this broadcast tonight and your prophetic word over your life is being cha uh, challenged. But I come to declare the word of the Lord uh, that you shall not let go of what God has said. The Bible says heaven and earth will pass 
pass away, but my words, my words, my words. And I declare hey. right now from Jeremiah chapter number one that God is watching over his word to perform it. He will hasten his word to perform it where there's been lack of income, where there's been loss of income, loss of work, loss of things in your life. I declare right now we serve a divine restraining order from the courtrooms of heaven against the attack of the enemy. Apostle Paul writes to Timothy and he said, my son Timothy, I encourage you to make warfare with that word right now, right now, right now, right now in the spirit. I want you to begin to pray in tongues right now. Librosha. Come on, join me. Come on, let's make warfare against the enemy of the word that God has promised. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let the word of the Lord arise. Pray, man of God. Declare it. Pray tonight. Pray. I just see oh, uh, almost a depression that has mm. come on some of you tonight. Uh, there's been a, a heaviness. And I just keep, I keep seeing a vision uh, of a man who is uh, bent over with almost heaviness, the mm. weight, like the weight of the world is on your right. shoulders. And I see the Holy Spirit trying to uh, minister hope and, and peace to you. But it's almost mm. as if uh, you're rejecting the hope because it's so heavy and you're embracing it. But I hear no. the Holy Spirit say, uh, you are free tonight. If you will receive this freedom, God saying those words, those yeah. circumstances are breaking over you even now. And I see the Holy Spirit lifting up your posture. I see him lifting you up. Uh, I'm almost reminded in the, wo the word of God with the woman who was bent over. When she was bent over for many years, her vision was very limited. Because when you're bent over, all you can see is the ground and, and, and what is beneath you. But when Jesus healed the woman, she began to get a whole new perspective because her vision was made whole. And I Amen. see in the spirit that depression, uh, weightiness has come against many believers, even ministers. I hear the Lord saying that many of you are, are ministers, ministry people that are, are carrying that weight. And, and you may have a smile on your face, but inside you know that you're carrying the weight of the world and you've been bent over with this weight or this heaviness. But I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, be made whole even now as Jesus did to the woman who was crippled, who was bent over. He straightened. She became straightened and she got a whole new perspective. God says, I'm enlarging your vision. Even in the time of restraint, I am giving you new vision. I'm giving you enlargement. I am enlarging your vision even now and That's heaviness it. weightiness has right. got to break over right. your life today right now That's in the push. name of Jesus That's depression it. go weightiness go in Jesus name I declare freedom I declare liberty I call forth the word of God in Jesus name right now in the spirit I'm just feeling yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord yes yes, yes, yes. I'm just I'm sensing right now for the next 120 mm -hmm. seconds for the next two minutes I want everyone on this broadcast now I want you to begin to pray in tongues right now mm -hmm. is about to shift. come on pray out loud pray out loud is a member Come on, come on, come on right now. The spirit of warfare, the spirit of warfare to press in. Come on, Limbra Bashu, do Zamanle, Girdandu Shoba, Idanli Zita Dama Kada Dasha, come on, Rizamale Bertataya, Ikush the Mandri Dizaba, Unleash the Bombra Bakasai, Librandri Dishto To, Nazua, In Landri, Izandru Kushtaba, Idasho Ko, Ambrisa Bambra Basho, Ilamandri Dishta, come on, come on, press. Press Kilizandro, Nishto Mambra, Izli, Stanan, 
de dada di kuto imbrasto mandri itu jukaba adista ilista lista la mondra da di kisto istanda irundo ambrasto ilmando kista come on push tonight come on push tonight disto mazidala baba ka idi anala masho kizambra baba sho indristilisti amrundi ribis Kista mandri disto, badi de yasaya, isumbra bakasha. I command everything that has been jammed in your life, everything that has been stopped in your life. I command it to open. I command it to open. I command it. To open. The demonic realms are shut up. I command it to open. Zim la mambro like our angels of fire. Warrior angels. Warrior angels will lift release right now there's a travail coming on somebody there is a travail i want you to push it another Fire God. God. Fire God. Let God release the fire of God right now. Yeah, right now. Woo. I thank you that things that have been delayed are being accelerated. I thank you, Lord, the warfare that's been against the word. It Woo. will not come forth, but I thank you right now that the mm. consuming fire. See, one thing about fire is fire begins to spread. It cannot be contained. And I hear the Holy Spirit saying there is a blaze of fire that is being released on this broadcast. Oh, it cannot Lord. be stopped. It cannot be contained. Mm. It cannot be dimmed. But there is a blaze that is starting right mm. now. And God is saying, I am going to blaze in your homes. I'm mm. going to blaze in your family. I'm going to blaze in your Ooh. nations. Come on. I hear nations being set on fire Come even on. right oh. now by the word of the Lord. Mm. There is a spreading, a, a quick spread. I hear the Lord saying it's going to take place quickly. There's, it's going, there's a divine acceleration that is taking place even right now. Oh, he's saying you will be uh, consumed with the fire of God. There is a dynamic fire. There is a fire that is going to spread to families. I see little children being ablaze with the fire of God. I see little children mm. beginning to travail in the spirit. If you're That's a parent cool. on this broadcast, begin to lay hands on your yes. children and call forth the fire of Woo. God to begin to birth in them, to begin to birth through them. The other oh. night, I, I and my daughter, who is nine years old, when we were in uh, uh, one o'clock in the morning, a tornado came through uh, our our city and, and right over our house we were locked into a bathroom and I began to speak to the wind and I began to speak to the tornado and then my oh. nine-year-old daughter began to stand up and with a prophetic anointing she mm. began to speak to the wind and she began to pray Come on. in the Holy Ghost and I want to tell you that tornado mm. passed over our house the blood Gosh. of Jesus see we've been claiming Gosh. Psalms 91 over Come our on. household during this whole pandemic Pandemic, mm. But we need to do it every day, believe But there are some children. Get ready because children are going to lead us. They're going to begin to rise up and begin to prophesy and begin to sing and don't despise them because of their young age. See, I started traveling and singing when I was eight years old and I began to prophesy even at eight years old. God is raising up some children that are going to shift nations. And I believe that parents on this broadcast. The Holy mm -hmm. Spirit is saying there is a transferal of anointing. Okay. There is a deposit being Ooh. made in you. Begin to lay hands on your children. On. If they're anywhere around, yeah, begin to lay go, go. hands on them. Yes, say, yes, I'm yes. anointing you with fresh oil. Ooh. I'm making an impartation in your Ooh. life. This is the day that generations begin Ooh. to arise and begin Ooh. to do those things that be not as though they are. That we yeah, begin go, to shift go. nations Ooh. with the words coming forth out of our mouth. Yeah, God yes. saying, greater is he that is in mm. you than he that is in the oh. world. We need to begin to crown Jesus and begin to speak to this the virus and command yeah, yeah. it to die in the name of Jesus. Oh, oh, shit. They, they are just the power of God, the fire of God all over me right now. If you're sitting there with your family, 
family members. I want you to lay your hands on each other. There are people that are filled with the Holy Ghost right now. There's power that's being released. The fire of God. I release it over you right now. Baptism. Fire right now. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire on your wives. Fire on the men. Fire on the children. Fire on the children right now. In the name of Jesus, I release fresh oil. Something is great. Tonight through this broadcast, in the spirit, God is setting things back in order. God is setting things back in motion. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, this fire is a consuming fire. It is an all consuming fire. That means everything that's not of God is being consumed. Everything that is out of line is being consumed. And it's beginning to burn something brand new. In the realm of the spirit, I feel it right now in the name of Jesus. Fire. Fire over your people. Fire right now. Fire over their bodies right now while we have this function on us. If you have a prayer request, I want you to type it in right now. Type it in because we're going to release the fire, the miracle power of God. In the name of Jesus, while this function is there, I want you to send forth your prayer request to our WhatsApp line. I want you to call the WhatsApp number tonight. The power of God is here, present to heal, present to set people free. Fire on all your children tonight. Fire on your finances. The power of God. Pray, man of God. Pray, sir. Pray. I hear the Holy Spirit say right Ooh. now, if you're sick in your body, begin to lay Ooh. hands on you. See, you don't need a, a, a divine healing crusade. I, I'm not again. I'll bless those. But he said right now, there is mm. fire flowing through your hands to believe for Come your on. own miracle. God says, I'm going to flow through believers right now. And I hear the Holy Spirit saying that someone, I don't know if you're watching live right now, if you're watching a replay, but I hear the Holy Spirit saying that there's something to do with your spine. I don't know it quite if it's scoliosis or, or if it's just something that that, that is out of alignment, but I hear the Holy Spirit saying that he is bringing alignment to your spine. If you will lay mm. hands on yourself right now and command that your spine come into alignment with the word of God, the enemy has caused a disruption or ca cause uh, 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 your, your spine to come out of alignment, but God is putting a divine order, a divine alignment over your spine. I hear the Lord saying that, that the sickness is being healed. There's a healing anointing being released through his people. And he wants to show you it's not just through a select few, but he wants mm. to operate through the body of Christ. So I challenge you to get bold and to begin to lay hands on that place mm. in your body mm. when you've been dealing with sickness. See, I, I the doctors told me that I had seven mini strokes and that I may never speak clearly again. But I refuse that report because I am called of God to prophesy. Come on. And so I refuse to come into agreement and I lay hands on myself and I begin mm. to declare that I am the healed of the Lord. When I went back for my MRI, he said, your MRI has changed. There is no, you never Ooh. had a stroke or a mini stroke. Come on. Come I on. serve a God who will change your MRIs. Yes. I serve a God that will release a prophetic anointing when the doctor saying you may never speak again. The doctors may have said you may never walk again but i'm telling you you are called to run you are yeah, called to yeah, run and he's saying right now there is a on. healing anointing if you'll begin to lay hands on yourself and begin to declare that he is the healer come on begin to yeah. come into agreement with his word his yeah, report is. and god is saying as you begin to lay hands on yourself i feel this so strong right now pastor mm. uh prophet he said if god uh god's saying if the people Mm. We'll get bold. Yes. See, we, we, we get bold with our faith sometimes when it has to do with other ministries. If, mm. if Prophet Zion will lay hands on me, I have the boldness to believe for my healing. But God right. is saying, I want you to have boldness in Come who on. he says he is. And yeah. he says, I am your healer. Yes. God is your healer. Mm. He says, right now, lay hands on your body and begin to command it to come into alignment. With the word of God. He My. says, by your stripes, you were healed. Mm. By his stripes, you were healed. It's already done. Now just Thank receive you. it in Jesus' name. 
Mighty God. Mighty God. I'm just seeing someone, you're having an issue with your throat for the last few days. It's actually gone on for a while now. You're having an issue with your throat. You can even feel that your voice is, is slightly changing. It's becoming more deeper. And, and, I, and you're afraid to even feel it. In the name of Jesus, I speak the miracle power of God over your throat right now. In the name of Jesus, I speak the power of God. I'm also seeing a woman here. Your menstrual cycle has all been messed up for the last few months your menstrual cycle has been uh, has really just gone up the start and your hormones in your body is just going all over the place right now i command that hormones i command that hormones right now just settle in and i command a free flow of that menstrual cycle in the name of jesus christ being uh, interruptions in that menstrual cycle in that period time where you're experiencing that thing in the name of jesus christ i speak the miracle power of god the miracle power of god there's also mm. some it's in your right ear but it's like almost mm. behind your ear it's, it's there's a pain that you get behind mm. your, your, your ear and i'm speak right now it's almost like the bone on the back of your uh of, of your skull in the name of jesus i speak the miracle power of jesus christ i'm also seeing someone um you, you you've been feeling your bodies and your your um what they, what do you call this lord jesus uh, and your glands your glands in your body have become swollen over the last few days uh, your glands in your body has become swollen right now i release the miracle power the touch of the holy ghost in jesus name i declare that by the stripes of jesus christ you are healed nothing missing nothing broken. in the name of the lord jesus that's right yes the hormonal reset and command right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ of Nazareth, prophet and man of god I just keep hearing the word sue. I don't know if someone is facing a, a legal battle or if it's a person that's named Sue, but I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that he is making it right. Uh, he is making it come into alignment with the Word of God. So I don't know if you're in a court battle right now, somebody watching. Uh, I keep leaning towards uh, you're being sued, or or but it may be a person, but I just mm. keep hearing him repeat the word Sue, the name Sue, over and over. So right now, we come into agreement with that word. In Jesus' name, I thank you that you are bringing alignment and you are bringing it into according to your word i mm. thank you that lawsuits are going to be dropped they're yeah, going to be ruled in favor in jesus name for god's people i thank you for a divine reversal mm. i thank you lord that we even as as prophet was prophesying earlier we are called to be a justice league god and we render the verdict in our Come favor on. the heaven's verdict is already in our favor so I thank you, Lord, that lawsuits are being reversed. And, mm. and I don't know if it's a person or you're being sued. I, I didn't have clarity there, but I just keep hearing mm. say, sue, sue, sue. So right now I come and stand in the gap for sue right now in mm -hmm. Jesus name. Well, I, I'm also seeing someone. It's it's a skin. Um, it's it's almost like eczema. You have it, and 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 it's spreading to different parts of your body, and you have this fear that it's going to come onto your face. And right now, in the name of Jesus, I command the skin ailment right now to stop, to stop. I'm also seeing someone in the realm of the spirit. Um, you having night sweats night sweats uh, and, and we're coming into in, 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 in the southern hemisphere we're coming into colder times but you're experiencing night sweats where and it's uncommon and 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 there's almost like an infection that is at work in your body i command that infection to die right now and i command the power of the holy ghost to be released upon you in jesus name you literally wait i actually i'm seeing it you wake up and it's like your pillow is wet from the from the night sweat in the name of the lord jesus christ i set you free i set you free in jesus name in jesus name i see south korea in the house i see south korea in the house and i just hear the lord say let not your heart be troubled because god has a plan for south yes, korea yes, let yes. Not your heart be troubled god has a plan there will not be pending war in that nation there will not be pending war in south korea i just heard the i heard the lord say that i heard the lord say that in the name of jesus man of god you pray one more time release the word of the lord and we're gonna we're gonna end this broadcast tonight in jesus name yes i want you to come into agreement with me i just heard the holy spirit say for us to to pray for nations 
mm. not just your nation or my yeah. nation. I know you yeah. just did with South Korea, but to pray because I heard I heard the Lord speak last week. Uh, uh, mm. There's go- coming a bounce back. There's coming a rebound, a bounce back, and it's going to cause to soar. See, the enemy, I released a word called bounce back uh, last year, and he brought it back and said there's new wind. But uh, uh, the enemy, he, he gave me a vision of a ball being thrown down with great force. But what happened in this vision, when it hit the pavement, it bounced back and it began to soar. And that's what the enemy has been doing with nations, economy, mm. with, with, with what is going on, the pandemic that's been going on. And he's thrown it down violently. But I hear the Lord saying there is going to be a bounce back that confuses the enemy because he thought it was set in stone that that's the way it was going to be. And for some of you individuals today, the enemy has thrown you down violently. But I hear the Lord, even as Ezekiel 37 in the valley of dry bones, uh, they were they were low, very dry and they have been uh, died a violent death is what it meant. But God began to breathe new life and the wind, the Ruach of God, the spirit of God began to breathe. So right now we prophesy to the four winds and we say, oh, breath breath of God breathe on these that were slain. I thank you Lord that the the, the, the uh, uh, tension or, or the resistance that we have faced in nations is going to cause the bounce back is going to cause a soaring even higher that the plan and the purpose of God will prevail and I call forth the bounce back even now. Nations being shifted even now in the name of Jesus, economies being shifted even now, religious structures being shifted even now in the name of Jesus. The nations are as a drop of a bucket to you, Lord. Come on, call it forth. Come on, Jesus. In Jesus' name. I see people calling out the names of their nations. Begin to call it out. We speak to the UK. We speak to South Africa. We speak to North America. Uh, We speak to Namibia. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, we speak over the nations in Mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Uh, We declare that the nations will come in Mm -hmm. line uh, with the authentic and original intent that God had Mm -hmm. on his mind for those nations. And whatever spirit that is trying to for the nation. I declare right now, we say be open, be open, be open, be open open right now in the name of Jesus. Be open to a revival, be open to a new Every demonic spirit that is at war over the nation, we command it to bow. 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 In the name of Jesus, Ghana, be open. Be open. Be open. In the name of Jesus, the breath of God, the breath of God to bounce back. The breath of God blows over every dry thing. The breath of God, the Ruach of God, the Ruach of God. Breathe on the nations. Breathe on the economies of nations, oh, breathe upon the presidential structures of nations, breathe upon the ecclesiastical structures of oh, nations, Rabbi. breathe upon the seven mountains of nations tonight. Rabbi. Oh God, we say be Rabbi. open. We ask you for nations tonight. You said, yeah. Lord, ask me, and I will give you the nations as your inheritance and the ends of the earth as your treasured possession. We ask you for nations tonight. We ask you for nations tonight. We say be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Man of God, pray and round this up tonight in Jesus' name. God, we thank you. I thank you that the word of God has been released tonight and not one word will return void. But I thank you that something was accomplished. Something strategic in your plan was accomplished in the spirit tonight. I thank you, God, that as we partner together, as we begin to declare the word of the Lord, and I want to encourage all of you that are watching this broadcast, begin to share it. Share, 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 because you are partnering with Prophet Zion as you begin to share, to get the prophetic word of the Lord out to the nations of the world, because there is an outbreak coming on the scene, an outbreak of revival, an outbreak, a sudden eruption of the promises of God. And I want to thank you for allowing me to come and partner with you today and to release the word of God. Thank you to all those who joined us. It was my honor to be with you and to release the word of the Lord.
Men of God, it is such an honor for us. Um, and, and if you guys have not followed a, a Prophet Andrew Tao yet, go ahead, follow his Facebook page. He pastors the Ram Church uh, in Chattanooga in Tennessee in the United States. I'm telling you what, guys, we are in for that reset. We are in to come against every demonic spirit. When that reset happens over your life, supernatural things will begin to shift. And I just want to take this opportunity while we have the bulk of the people still on. If you want to be part of our online uh, school of ministry called the Re Unleashed Revival Academy, the Unleashed Revival Academy, WhatsApp the number at the bottom of the screen. It is a 12-week uh, week online course. You can join in from anywhere in the world. It is absolutely phenomenal. We're teaching on the kingdom, the power, and the glory of God. It is online video tutorials that I'm coming to you every week to teach you, to mentor you in what God wants to do in the earth. Also, I just want to tell you, if you want to be part of this uh, emerging voices, let the prophet speak emerging voices. If you want to be part of it, go ahead and send us an email. Um, contact Mishenta and she will give you more details on how you can be part of this emerging voices for those that are seeking apostolic covering, those that are seeking uh, apostolic mentorship, father, fathering in the spirit, go ahead and connect with us on emerging voices let the prophet speak it is time for the for the people of god to find their divine connections in the earth it's going to be powerful what god is going to do man of god i can't wait to meet you in person i can't wait to meet you in person sir i i me as well i cannot wait uh, we we're connected in the spirit so it has been wonderful to be with you today amen amen god bless you so we're going to release you right now thank you once again you. May the grace and peace of god be with you in jesus mighty name god bless sir god bless you if you guys have been blessed with tonight's broadcast, I encourage you tonight to sow. Sow into what God is doing. Every night we bring someone from another nation, from someone, a prophetic apostolic voice. We are praying for you. We have prayer teams still praying right now for you. Praying, They pray throughout the day for you. So I encourage you to sow into what God is doing. Our contact details, our banking details, our, um, our details are on the screen that you can go ahead. Uh, my team will be putting up that details. So go ahead. And uh, so if you did not get the latest copy of my book called Unlock Me, I want you to go ahead and get that copy of that book, Unlock Me. It is powerful. I'm Prophet Zion Matthew. Tomorrow night, we have the great apostle of God, Apostle Axel Sipak. He is a voice. He is a father in the apostolic move of God in the earth. He is absolutely a father. And I want to bring not just sons, not just emerging voices, but fathers in the faith that understands prophetic apostolic dimensions. Tomorrow night, 8 p.m., same time, same place. I want you not to miss it. Go ahead, share this broadcast live tonight. Share this broadcast. Call our prayer line. People are still waiting to pray for you. I'm Prophet Zion Matthew. Go ahead and get all of my book tonight. Order my book, number one. Order my book, Unlock Me. It is powerful for this time, for this season. Number two, join our online school of ministry starting the first week in May. You have two weeks more to join. You will never get another school like this. It is powerful. And number three, if you want to be part of the private close, a mentorship group where myself and Prophetess Shireen Dreyer is mentoring people for apostolic prophetic men. It's a closed group. It's not open to everybody. Go ahead and contact the number at the bottom of your screen. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Go ahead and be blessed tonight in what God is calling you to do. I'm Prophet Zion Matthew. Stay till the end of this broadcast. Stay till the end of this broadcast because there's some important information that we want to give you tonight. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Good night and God. Blessings and salutations everyone, I'm Prophet Zion Matthew and I'm so excited today to announce the debut, the release of my latest book called Unlock Me. If you've been locked in a demonic cycle, you are praying and you're not getting answers to your prayer or you just feel that the heavens are brass over your life, then Unlock Me is something that you need to get today. I believe the Unlock Me book has truths that God has revealed to me on how you could have an open heaven 
access from the courts of heaven, the breakthrough and the answers that you are believing God for in your life. Unlock Me is available right here and I want you to get your hands on a copy. At the end of each chapter, you will be praying with me a prophetic unlocking prayer that's going to unlock your destiny and bring you the breakthrough that you are trusting God for. So get your copy of Unlock Me available for the first time in South Africa and in Africa. Unlock Me, my latest book. Get yours tonight.